What's up, Wolfpack? I'm the Lone Wolf, and welcome back to yet another Three Scary Games. Today we are starting with The Microwave Paradox, a game by Sirius Daniel. As always, all the games in this video will be put in the link. Well, we'll have a link in the description. Um, so if you want to check it out for yourself, it's a bit too far back. Alright, I have no idea what this game's about, other than we're finding different things to microwave. Uh, so there's that. Alright. A very big microwave producing company provided you the super micro uh, the super microwave for testing purposes. Now you are going to test your new microwave with different types of food. Now who doesn't like to do that? Alright, so retro styled God, that's a lot of magazines. What sort of magazines are they in? Would you shut up? Hello? Hello. Thanks for agreement to participate in our super microwave testing. We hope you will get the best experience with your super oh. microwave. In order to get better experience, we recommend you to watch the video tutorial, which will teach you how to use the microwave provided by our company. Whoa, that's blurry. Whee! Okay. I, I got it. Oh my god, I'm upside down! What the f have I done? Oh, okay. Uh, there's a video to watch. Why can I do this? Okay. Um, okay. How do I. I can't crash. Is it. Do I. Need to just throw it in? You know what? Let's not worry about that. Let's just just try the microwave. Ah. Uh. Eh. No. Give me the give me the burger. Um. I. T God. I should have been messing around. Aha! Another tape. A toilet, and stuff you know I would love to watch the tape oh that's how I do it the super microwave can become your best friend it can help you to make your better it can even watch a movie with you you have absolutely no reason to not to trust your microwave attention microwaves cannot talk if your microwave started to talk with you then follow next steps first make sure there is nobody hidden inside the microwave because microwaves don't talk itself. Second, try to isolate yourself from the super microwave. It is better to lock all your house doors and put the super microwave outside. What? Don't worry, your life is safe now. And finally, it try is? not to talk and interact with microwave. Okay. Some aspects of the effect of microwaves on humans are not yet fully understood. You're not going to talk to me, are you? Okay, here we In go. this tutorial, you will learn how to use your new super microwave. First of all, open your super microwave's door and put your food into the super microwave. Then close the door and wait a little. Next, when the super microwave doing its job, you can inject the food and enjoy. Please, pay attention. You should use microwave only to work with food. It is highly restricted to put any other objects into the microwave. Like what? Oh, that's it? Okay, so let's use the microwave. Ah. So what's the super microwave gonna do? I think I stopped it too early. Hang on. Or not. Okay. Yep, yeah, alright. Try a donut. Okay. Try that. Hello? Bizarre. 
Okay. Um, can I put the phone in there? No, toaster. Can I open the fridge? Can't open the fridge. Let's try the other donut. We've only got access to a handful of items, so I don't know what it's what we're gonna do. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, okay, nothing. Uh, ugh. uh. We got bottles of drinks. Um, we had this thing. I don't know what that is. Pictures. What was that? Hello. Thanks for agreement to participate um. in our super microwave testing. We hope you will get the best experience with your super microwave. In order to get better experience, well, now we know what to do. The video tutorial, which will teach you how to use the microwave provided by our company. Let's do things exactly the same. The donut's stuck in a... Okay, that's happening over the same. Okay. I'm gonna go grab that thing. Maybe I'll... I'll see what it did this time. What?! Microwave, you can't do that! A bit weird though. Okay, put the bottle in. No microwaves aren't meant to have liquids in them. Okay. What if can I? I can't. Okay. So we can't do that. Also, it just seems that this apartment doesn't have a bedroom. It's just the front door, bathroom, with only a toilet and a washing machine. There's one of these I didn't try. Ah. I, I broke it. You have broken the microwave which our company provided to you in testing purposes. You are a pathetic and worthless person who don't deserve what? to own our super microwave. Hey. Our sales manager will now come to your house and take your life as a fine. What? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Holy shit! What in the... F <laughs> My head, what the hell? Okay. I can't believe that was actually quite frightening. Um, so that was the Microwave Paradox by Sirius Daniel. Um, that, was, that, was, that was cool. I like that. So we are now going to move on to the next one. Okay, and next up we have Timeless Horizon, a game made by 2D Pie and Vault. I don't know who Vault is, but 2D Pie made that Christmas game we played, uh, what was it called? Unwrapping Christmas. That was the one with Santa Josh and the, the one that ended up with the heart being in the sink. I think it was in the sink or was it the microwave? I don't know. I've got microwaves on my mind now. This is a short puzzle game, horror game thing where we are trying to contact someone in space. Stuck on a deserted planet, you come across an abandoned space research center. Your only chance to escape the planet is by contacting someone from outer space, but your chances are very slim. 
You decide to step into the abandoned facility. Do I now? And what if I don't want to do that? Oh. What do we got here? We got broken vials of blue goo. Goo ba goo goo goo. Blue goo boo blue goo. The black wormhole is a unique celestial object near our planet, making it nearly impossible to leave. It differs from anything observed before, as anything that enters emerges in a different timeline. This means that there will be an alternate version of yourself in that timeline. Okay. I missed the, I missed the key. Oh, I see. We had to find the right cable. Rooftop! Pl oh. Comes then. Oh. Uh, I get it. Alright. Set up comms, comms offline. Set up comms. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Okay. That was easy to remember. Sending signal. Oh, I get it. It's just Morse code. Anyone gonna pick up? Hello! Mayday! 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 Ah! Am I gonna get an end? Um, why was that so dramatic? Why can I still hear it? Oh. Looks kind of like- HOLY SHIT WHAT THE F*** ARE YOU?! Okay, it's gone. I was gonna say this kind of looks like one of those Naboo starfighters from Star Wars. Oh! I'm just gonna fly off. Uh. Bloody hell, what is going on in that eye? Okay, I just went through the black hole. Ah. When I arrived, that was very quick by the way. When I arrived, I was getting an SOS, so does that mean that tall black creature thing was me? I don't know if that music's copyright. I guess I'll find out. Okay, that was... Timeless Horizon. A very, very, very... Very... Very, very short game. Um, I will put that in the link description. Um, <laughs> that was shorter than I expected, but, ah oh well, nonetheless, was still enjoyable.
Okay, and now up we have the Insomnus Experiment. This is a game made by Vitus Games, and it is based on the creepy pasta, the Russian Sleep Experiment. Now, if you don't know what that is, look it up because it's pretty disturbing and a bit spooky, and I've got spit on my monitor. That's not good. Oh shit, almost lost my mouse as well. Great. Um, so instructions, WASD to move, mouse to look, E to interact, shift to run. Uh, why am I going to need to run? I didn't really get a good look at the description for this, other than knowing that it's based on the Russian sleep experiment. Show. Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment, creepy pasta. Russian researchers in the late 1940s kept five people awake for 15 days using an experimental gas-based stimulant. Mm-hmm. Now, also, if you don't know what a creepypasta is, have a Google of that too, because there is some interesting stuff. Now, Slenderman, creepypasta. Jeff the Killer, creepypasta. There's, like, a thing called Eyeless Jack, who's also a creepypasta. These are some of, like, the base things. Even Smile Dog. Now, some of you, I mean, I don't know exactly if who, if anyone knows about this stuff, but it was very popular when I was growing up. I sound old saying that, but I don't know exactly when it started, but I know when I was going through primary school and sort of died down for me in high school just because everything else started happening. Five nights of... Oh... There's no escape. Um, I don't like this. Yeah, as I said, when I was starting high school, Five Nights at Freddy's started becoming more popular. I mean, at least for me it was. We had three games before I even started high school. I don't like this. Oh, okay. I I was thought I was gonna interact, Doctor. Okay. So there's some of the pictures and X-rays and shit like that. The doors open. Why is the door open? I'm going to move the microphone away, just in case I scream. Because I don't want to burst, break the microphone. After five days without sleep, the paranoia started to kick in. The test subjects stopped talking to each other. They whispered to us. Okay... I feel like it's not going to need me to run until the very end, because I physically cannot run. My hair... My hair is really not the best at the moment. Okay. So where'd the gas come from? Those things? They sort of look like air vents. How come I, I don't want to jinx myself or curse myself? Oh, I just scared myself with the lights and stuff. Why aren't there any people here? Ah. Uh... I'm getting bad vibes from this. Real bad vibes. After nine days, one test subject started screaming until his vocal cords broke. Then another one did the same. And then the screaming stopped. As well as mm. the yeah. That's the disturbing thing. What's more disturbing when the screaming begins 
or when it just stops. It's one of those sort of disturbing things like there's the um, thing I don't I can't remember exactly what it was but it was like what's more scary the fact that like um, what's what's more what would be more scary being alone in the universe or having some other beings but they're not here or something like that like if the galaxy was filled or the universe was filled of alien life why haven't they come here? I mean, it's, that's how it goes. I mean, oh, that's just a lie. I thought there was eyes. Ooh, that's a creepy picture. Well, I guess it's an X-ray. Eh. Um, actually, that's an X-ray. It's a big camera that uses radiation to take photos of your bones. I have no idea what's going on with me today and why isn't the door open. Okay, it's gonna send me through it. Hello? I need to swallow you all until there's nothing, but at that moment is everything. Keep your eyes open. If they don't close, they can't stop you. The true strength you have. Okay. Your wasted potential, your unused life. Or another thing, um, what's scarier? Creepy music or dead silence? Like this. There's no background music. No ambient sounds, just the guy whispering. Is random words. After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. The test subjects weren't making any sounds either, but we knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. So couldn't see inside, but still knew. At least some of them were alive. I'm just scared something's gonna jump out at me. But I feel like if it was going to do that, it would have done it by now. And I'm jinxing, jinxing myself. It's a big ass valve. Oh my god, there's windows. I don't know what to do. Why is it this bloody big? Like, how on earth are you supposed to turn those? You're gonna need like a massive ladder. Seriously. It's just unbelievable. This is totally unrealistic now. Okay, we got another audio box in here. This must be where the gas is made. The nurse is talking now. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. And then we heard a whisper. We no longer want to be freed. Mm. Um. This is the gas that's keeping me awake. Well, that's keeping them awake. If that door opens, I'm running. Oh. What the f***? I'm running. Doesn't feel like I'm being chased, though. Oh, and actually my heart is starting to beat a bit quicker. I think it's the anticipation of something happening. 
more than something happening itself. I feel like how I felt just sitting there while I... Um, the door won't open! Am I not meant to go this way? That was anticlimactic. And I don't think I triggered what was needing to be triggered. Nothing's happening. Hello? I'm... I can't crouch, I can't... I went the wrong way. The test subject had his abdominal organs removed. The, the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. They were not painful anymore. They ate their own flesh, ripped their own organs out. And I looked at his eyes and his mouth curled into a smile. Oh. Okay. You can do that. I'm not going to stop you. Um. What am I doing here? Am I turning the gas off? There's nothing to do. Oh, there's a door. I'm blind. Okay. I'm in the. I'm in here now. Hello. I ain't open the freaking thing. What do I have to? What? Have you ever thought so easily? We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you uh, all. Begging to be free at every moment am I? in your deepest animal mind. We am I the... hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralysis. What? I couldn't really understand him. Keep cutting. Uh. <laughs> um, that was Insomnus Experiment. Bit slow to start, but it was a bit spooky at the end then. It scared the shit out of me. Well, almost did. Well, um, that's actually all I've got planned for today. That was our three scary games. Um, obviously I've, I do have more games in my list, but um nothing else to do at the moment. So That is all for today.
I hope you enjoyed watching. I say the best ones would have actually been the first two. Microwave Paradox and Timeless Horizon. Insomnus Experiment was just a little bit... slow. I thought I was actually going to be chased. That's why it said shift to run. A um, little bit disappointing on that, but still... interesting. Uh, I will link these in the description, as I, I keep saying that. I don't know why I say that all the time. You guys know by now. Um, but, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. If you want to see more exciting stuff like this and other stuff and blah, 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 why not click that subscribe button and become part of the Wolf Pack and do the same thing to the notification bell so you don't miss out. I'm doing a lot of hand gestures, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.